Can I ask you a question? Uh, why doesn't that uh, lens get called? Oh, we, we take care of that. We have a we do it. Uh, <laughs> you gentlemen are sweating like pigs. <laughs> you should have worn a sheet like me. <laughs> well, you wanted to know what uh, what my life was like? This is part of it. <laughs> Upstairs, three Cipollani screamed at the top of their lungs, and that shattered the chandelier, which dropped its little uh, bubbles down on the floor. And Sadratsky's dog, uh, hit by uh, a little glass, he, uh, he jumped up and he bit himself. Yelp! And uh, uh, Sadratsky, uh, peering for the dog, I guess, he fell over himself and then landed on the piano, boom, with both elbows. Well, it all happened at once, and it was fantastic. I remember saying to myself, my God. How beautiful. I was seven years old at the time, but I knew then that that's, uh, well, that's what music was really about. The authority, the imagination, the brilliance with which this young composer made his debut surely must surpass all but the most privileged occasions in the history of music. Blah, 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 blah. That was in 1954. I was impressed, obviously. It was some 14 years ago. What happened to him since then? Well, you tell me. But as far as I'm concerned, he just died young. No, 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 no. Look, Zelenka, like everybody else, discovered that rock and roll was a genuinely expressive musical form. And he has financial problems, legal problems, he's a personality, he's got to develop his image, career management, and, uh, you know, the whole scene. It's an ego trip. For a composer capable of that, to uh, prostitute himself for the sake of popular entertainment is so unfathomable a sellout. It almost makes me want to cry to think about it. It was two years ago that Zelenka composed and produced his first rock and roll recording, Splashdown. We wondered how a respected contemporary artist adapts to a new image of himself as pop idol. And what happens to popular art when a man like Zelenka takes it seriously? At the time this film was made, Zelenka was deeply involved in producing his second LP, Zelenka II. Well, they're, they're laying down this rock environment. Well, it's in shape, electronically, mm. sonically. In, in viral sony rock, I call it. Huh. Oh, no, 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 it's a very complex piece. Hey, a lot of conventional musicians involved, too. With, with written parts and other other sessions. It's like a mm, like mission control and the in the uh, in the space flight, see? <laughs> it's very, very complex. Uh yeah. they're coming through now. They're on the belt now? Yeah, you're coming That's good. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> could you could you bring up um, the
this is Thank you, Mr. Eisenstein. Arthur, how are you? How are you? Good how to see you. Uh, hi. Hello. 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 Hello
try to demonstrate what this piece will sound like. Uh, Neil? Yes. Uh, could we hear uh, the group image over the, over the speakers? Five. five, yes. As soon as possible. All right. Now, don't play. Just sit back, relax. Keep your ears open. Let's go. You see, it's simple. It's very easy. Now, take up your, your instruments. And uh, we'll have another go of it. Okay? Neil? No, no, no. You see? Longer. Much longer. It has to be longer. See? Much longer. This is over the 14C, take 17. Well, uh, recently my life has changed only to the extent that uh, I'm more busy, more in the social world. I'm invited to, uh, to more parties. I have to uh, do radio commercials and television advertisements, and, uh, oh, I was on television, I was interviewed on television about three times, and um, I, I, I was in an advertisement in the uh, Sunday Times magazine section in color. Uh, it was uh, just a smile and a Jensen ad with me in it. But uh, it's a little uneasy because uh, living life this way is like living uh, life in a bush bowl or a fish bowl. And it's a little uncomfortable, if you understand what I mean. How many? We have six? Uh, at least. You got a big government. Picture. I think we have about six. And, um, and this, uh, this little pool. This, oh, that's right. right. Seven. We have seven. I'm afraid they're going to freak out or something on you. Expansion. I hope I, I, if they freak out, that would be fine. Now, we're talking now about the, about the piece that you wrote for the dogs. Is that right? Yes. You see, this piece was written for the dogs, not for human beings. In other words, a human being cannot hear it. You cannot hear it. How do you go about writing a piece that you can't hear yourself? Or... Well, the way you do that is you use a, um, an oscilloscope. A which, what? An what oscilloscope. How, how do you spell that? I'm not sure. Seymour, do you know how to spell it? O S. Anyway, it's an instrument that uh, depicts in light form on a screen uh, the sounds that you are hearing or not hearing. Anyway, I want um, to show that all sounds, even the unheard of sounds, well, the sounds that we can't hear are part of music. So the only way I can think of doing this is to have is to have an animal that can hear the sounds that we can't hear illustrate the way it hears the music. So are you using very original idea? Never are you you're playing back your inaudible music through the medium of the dog? That's exactly it. That's exactly the point. Also, it's given rise to certain criticisms, such as uh, well. Some writers and composers have said I've sold the uh, serious music out. And, uh, well, it's just not true. I haven't sold anything out. Should we put a neck mic on her? Uh, I think we can use one of the bull mics. A bull mic. Well, uh, she's very small. Will it, uh, we'll it won't frighten her, will it? No, will it frighten her? Okay, good. Nothing? Uh, let's see. Uh, good. Uh, Neil, I... Change the table. Okay. All right.
taking a, a minus six on the uh, poodles. Very good. Okay, now I'll just increase the kilo cycles. And multiply the frequency and let them listen. <coughs> There are areas of his music that, that um, I don't claim to understand, but that's not my job, see. No, my, no, 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 my job, my job is to present him to the public. And uh, there I have to be very careful, be very careful, because he's an original. He's no ordinary top 40 performer. I just have to throw the book away, you know. But I don't need a public relations man. I just have a public relations man. I have uh, Seymour, and uh, you'll meet Seymour later. He's a very nice chap, and he does, does his job uh, uh, very well. In fact, uh, he does his job better than anybody I could find, and he gets a hell of a good salary for it, too. He uh, is hired for one reason and one reason alone. I mean, I need him. I, uh, I need Seymour. Uh, he can do things that I can't do. He can, uh, he can be places I can't be, like uh, he, uh, he thought of the idea of the Zelenka's limp. Or the Zelenka blimp, how's <laughs> my English? As a, a Zelenka blimp from Goodyear. And it said Zelenka lives on it in big, in big gold letters and it went from coast to coast across the country carrying my name and piping my musica down to the masses. It was marvelous. He, uh, he ordered uh, thousands, perhaps millions, I don't know, of uh, Zelenka lives buttons. And uh, perhaps you've uh, seen them on uh, many of the little teeny buffers. Also the, uh, the phrase... Um, the Holy Zelenka phrase is on everybody's lips. Holy Zelenka. Holy Zelenka. I mean, these are, even our president has used as a phrase. And um, then, um, uh, what else did he do? Ah, yes, the Zelenka Zack music in all the elevators in Akron, Ohio. That was a flop, but a noble experiment. And by next door. No, a lot of people are wrong. He hasn't gone too far. He, in fact, uh, he might not have gone far enough. And God said. Let there be light. And there was light. And the light is the new white light, out of sight, bright white light sound of Zalenka. Zalenka. Yes, the new now Zalenka album has exploded. <laughs> it's here. I want it. Now I want it. It's it. I want it. And you can have it. <laughs> the sound of truth, the truth of sound, the sound of sound, and the truth of truth. <laughs> yes, that dear guru of the now explosion has done it again. I want it. And God said, get it. The new now Zalenka sound. Zalenka. Terrific. That's, 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 that's not all what I want. That's not all what I want. That's not what I asked for. That's not what I want. What do you want it? Don't you, Seymour? I mean, it's good. That's fine, Seymour. It's the best oh. thing we've heard so far. Well, that's exactly the same, the same sort of thing we were doing last year. No, it isn't. I mean, last year we were selling you as, as a kind of a, you know, a, this a, is a new as a kind of phenomenon. And stand. now... Now we can afford to say, say you with what you really Well, no, I, I think... Well, it's a little joke. joke. I well, the idea of God <laughs> saying that, uh, that you it's, should it's, buy the album is fantastic. But Jesus... That's... Look, look. You have better taste than I do. And even I know that's not in... in I hate to use the term in bad taste, but it's not the sort of thing that, 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 well, that has class. Oh, don't give me that shit. I mean it. I mean it. You want to be... You know, look, there, there are lots of people who play that kind of game, like, like, like Salvador Dell. Salvador, now nobody ever has the faintest idea whether Salvador Dali is good or Salvador not. Salvador Dali, Salvador Dali never made a record. Exactly, you're a hell of a lot better than Salvador Dali. You're damn right. This is what I'm trying to merchandise. Oh. I'm trying to merchandise you with quality, and by God, you don't want to be quality. You're merchandising me like, uh, like... Like what? Like what do you want? What is it you really want? I don't want? want to be Lita Kranz cheese. All right. Want it? You got it. I mean, 
where do these people they get their heroes from, uh, the culture heroes? Picasso and Stravinsky, they're legends in their own lifetimes. And why? Because of PR, they got out of control, absolutely. I mean, don't you realize they're multi-million dollar industries? I mean, they're, they're signatures and their faces and their pictures on every ashtray and every restaurant. I mean, the media just clean up on them. My fellow does something. They call him a genius. They call him a phony. They call him a phony genius. If I listen to all that chicken gabble, where would I be? Hmm? The loony bin. I never said that. No, sir, I did not say that. I never said that Stravinsky was a genius because he was a PR genius. Who said that? You? You? Who said it? I didn't say it. No one is willing to say bingo. That's me. And, and be it, whoever it is. Look, this is my country. I live in strange times. I live in very weird times in a country that is strange. I'm an artist. I believe in my work. I work out of my country, out of my times. What else can I do? I'm no uh, a bumpkin, a trek. I'm no uh, idiot. I must respond to the, the country that has given birth to these mythological heroes. These beings that... that... <laughs>